Welcome back to a special Great Day Live. Derby season is upon us and it was kicked off in a major way last night with the Kentucky Derby Festival Dillard Spring Fashion Show. All the fun went down at Caesars Southern Indiana Casino. We've been talking for the last half hour about all the fashion trends. Now we're going to switch gears and talk a little hair and makeup. Definitely took center stage on the runway last night at the fashion show. It really complimented the fashion in a very intentional way. Jill Higginbotham and her team from J. Michael's Spa and Salon were there and they took care of all the models and all the looks on the runway you took care of me it was I, that's I think very true to say it was very intentional right it didn't overpower these very bold go big looks yeah it's and hard. that was so cool to see Joe yeah, really it's definitely hard when you have kind of the bold looks where you're like okay what can we do so that's why the makeup didn't have so much color because when you yeah. have so much color you don't want that kind of competition right yes and so we really pulled inspiration from the 90s for all our looks mm. last night and I was just really excited about it because I mean the 90s were like one That's of my heydays so favorites. I was yeah. like we're going back to the 90s hair is going to represent you know Phoebe and friends and, yes and makeup I wanted it to be very Kate Moss very Calvin Klein because mm. it was such a a look that went with everything and I think it allowed the the clothes to shine, but it also allowed the models to shine, which I loved. So, talk yeah. a little bit about like the the palette yes. on the eyes and the cheeks, because I kept taking a dozen pictures of what you all did with me, trying to replicate it today, did failed miserably. But it was just beautifully soft. And again, yes. I was wearing pinks. We see all the color on the runway, and it just looked so smooth. Yes. So we really stayed in like the browns, the grays. A little bit of blue going on because oh. we really wanted to have that nod to like the yeah. 90s and almost everything, like a steel color yeah very yeah. steely and everything had a little bit of shimmer in it as mm -hmm. well remember shimmer was so big so if you're not going color what a great way to add like a pop of interest to yeah. have a little shimmer going on and the cheeks weren't too pink or anything we kept them very bronzy neutral mm -hmm. a little hollowed out so you're thinking more contour without the highlight kind mm -hmm. of part um, and then lips go bold. We decided to kind of throw back a little bit to that darker lip liner, maybe with a lighter color inside, yeah. which makes your lips look gorgeous, you know? So if you don't have filler and you want filler, the best way to do it is have that yep. liner and then fill it in. Um, but we kind of kept those neutral colors again, so you're not competing with the outfits, but you really get to shine and look gorgeous. With the lip color, was it more of a matte and we're doing away, stepping back for the gloss this season. We are, we do like the matte look right now or more of a creamy, just lipstick look, mm -hmm. not too glossy. Um, but Again, it like almost competes with the shine and the color and exactly. the outfit. There's just like too much going on. Exactly, and so this is just kind of a beautiful way. And the nice thing about that is gloss can tend to fade, yeah. but lipsticks, lip fixations, those wear all day. So that's a great for derby mm -hmm. as well. Uh, let's switch gears to the hair now because you, you, how can we translate these styles to our Derby Week look? Yes. Well, so what we loved about the hair this year is we wanted to focus on updos because I feel like updos are so great. They're transitional day to night. They stay all day. Mm -hmm. Whether you put a hat on or you take it off, your hair is still going to look you can fix good. It. Yeah. We can, you can pull your hair back into shape better, quicker yes. when you remove the fascinator if it's up. Absolutely. And so we kind of, again, had a 90s inspo going on and I really pulled a lot of my inspiration of Phoebe from Friends. How can <laughs> you not? It. I loved that she had all the little twisties and kind of pieces sticking yeah. out out because these patterns are like so there, soft. right there on the side where you yes. had her it wasn't so smooth and refined the no. pieces sticking out are totally fine yes and because the patterns are so soft kind of there again all those pieces yeah. it's a great juxtaposition mm -hmm. where you have this like structure against the soft mm -hmm. and I just think it's gorgeous and anyone can do it so all of those ladies had different hair they had different textures and we were able to make it work for everyone so and it's again it's nice if it's gonna be a warm derby that gets your hair up yeah. off your neck yeah. right we all wear it, we get hot and everything like that. We also love to kind of coming back, just those two simple pieces yeah. coming down around the face, you know. Um, you can do those straight or you can have them soft. Of course, we did it with the braids and different textures. And I just think it's a great it way to come highlight It sets off the fascinator and the hat really yes. well too. Yeah, and it goes under almost any fascinator and hat. So I just love the way that it look. It felt like no matter what hat or fascinator we put on these looks, they looked amazing. Mm -hmm. that, right. You had to be going, yay, we yeah. did it. Because it was, it's one thing for you all, you all were one of the major sponsors of this show, for you all to have 
to step into that role and have a vision for what you're going to do and then look back and say, oh, it worked. Yes, it is. <laughs> we pulled it off. Because you see the clothes come out and we all talked about it and I thought, I hope this works, but I am just so happy with how it turned out and I love that these are things that people can do at home. Yes. So we're probably going to make a little tutorial so people can see how they can do this love with their that. hair at home. So it'll just be really nice and easy um, because this is something you can do yourself or go to a salon and get yourself. Or start thinking about it now. Yes. I think come up with that derby plan for what you want to achieve because you still have we're in the lead up. Yes. Now is the time to start getting it in order. When it comes to hair color, what hair color trends are you seeing this spring? Well, of course, everybody's into cowboy copper. Yes. And the coppers are beautiful. We love that. Blondes are never going out of style, but what I do love about blonde is we are going back into kind of warmer, mm -hmm. more buttery blondes, which I love. Kind of love moving that. away from the paler ones, which were fun while we had them, but now it's kind of time, time. to get back to that more natural blonde, which I really, really love. And then just really rich, vibrant color. So even if you're mm. in the brunette family, we want to see that shine and that vibrancy in it. Yeah, yeah so. time to warm it up. You put together your five tips for derby hair and makeup. Yes, ma'am. Snatched from the runway, but of course, I love that you always put things into wearable, livable style that yes. will get you through derby, guys. But again, Jill's tips get you through spring and summer, too. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So our first one is wear makeup with sunscreen. I know a lot of people do moisturizer with sunscreen, mm. but the thing about moisturizer with sunscreen is it kind of prevents some of that moisture actually getting into your skin. So if the sunscreen's in your makeup, oh. that's meant to be long wear all day, and that's mm. actually going to give you sun protection all day. So like we use Jane Arundel Mineral Makeup. You put that on, you can carry just a pressed powder with you all day and retouch with it. Right. I've been like last minute at a soccer game for my daughter and realized I need it and just put it all over. It's great protection. Yeah. It gives you the SPF and you don't, you're going to be in sun that SPF day. SPF in yes. the makeup. Uh, and very important, a hairstyle that goes from day to night. Yes, like yes. we talked about our just, Phoebe look. Yes, like we were talking about. And we really show that that's exactly what happens with that. So those low updos are great if you're doing a fascinator mm -hmm. or a hat. It goes from day to night. It's very simple. Uh, another one is the anti-humidity finishing spray. So when you're doing your hair, I know we kind of had this whole trend of like not using hairspray or any finishing sprays, but really you want to do that. And because you are in Louisville, Kentucky, <laughs> yeah. and it is in spring, you want to make sure it is an anti-humectant. So we have a great one called Elevate. Smells lovely. You can carry a little bit did with you. Did you all use that last night, by the did. way? It smelled incredible. Yeah, it's kind of kind of like Skittles. It's fun. Yes. Non-toxic. It's wonderful. But yeah, it's going to hold your look and it's an anti-humectant. So that's Love great. That. All right, don't forget your hands. Yes, so your hands, we're washing our hands all day mm -hmm. and I like to take a probiotic hand cream with me. It actually keeps your hands very healthy. It's kind of antibacterial, but it also moisturizes at the same time. Oh, I love that. It's an awesome thing to have in your purse because you know you're going to the bathroom, you're washing your hands all day, you're touching a lot of stuff. We're still all very aware of like keeping our hands yeah. clean. So this is a great way to do that. What brand do you recommend? I recommend Babor. They have a pre mm -hmm. and probiotic hand cream. It's great. And then, yeah, the all day lip color, like we were talking about, do the lip fixation. You can do a nice stick or a very light gloss for touch ups, but if you have that all day color, just a little bit of gloss, press it together. It won't take away your matte finish, but it touches up the lips so that you don't have to retouch your lips all day long. And so. I can happily go back to my 90s lip liner, yes. darker, darker, and the inside lighter. lighter. Watch out. Kayla. Yes. Watch have out so when I show up to tape with you it's on all Monday. About, it's all about the Be 90s ready. this year. Have fun with it. Love we it. love the derby. And so. again, it's now is time to get into J. Michael Spawn Salon. Go ahead and get your beauty plan booked out, plan it, uh, and you guys can take care of everything. Everything. Love it. Yeah. All right.